Well, I think we came in with a clear mandate as we came in with a clear uh, supermajority in both the House and the Senate. And our plan was to do several things, but one of those things was to change the way the legislature does business. And, and I think we've done that. I think we've taken on a more uh, business-like manner. We've certainly picked up the pace uh, of uh, approving legislation and moving legislation. Uh, we came out with our handshake uh, with Alabama, and we've passed uh, the majority of those bills early in the session and some in the special session. So I, I think we got to work uh, early, and, and I, I think that we've continued to work through our agenda. Um, sometimes late into the evenings. We, we tended to have a, a, a very organized but more of an eight to five kind of uh, flow. And now uh, we've got a, an organized flow, but we, you know, we're, we've been willing to stick through late at night to make sure we get to the calendar uh, and the bills that are important. Uh, that bill was enacted into law. It actually, prior to adopting that bill, we had a bill. We had a situation where coal ash was unregulated. It was not even solid waste. It was just an item that could be put in any place at any time, and you would be in no violation if you dumped it in any private property or in a landfill. But now it will be regulated as a solid waste for the first time, which will begin a regulatory oversight process. Well, most of the budget gap is, was created by the fact that we lost uh, so much revenue from that was coming from federal stimulus dollars. Uh, about $600 million moved out of the education fund and about half a million, about a half a billion dollars, I said $600 million. Uh, and about half a billion dollars stripped out of the general fund. So, you know, that's a hard amount to make up in a declining economy, or not declining, but certainly a stagnant economy. I think that we've made some tough choices, and that we've made some really difficult choices uh, to be able to balance the budget, which is what we have to do. We're, we're at the point late in the session where you often find yourselves, and that is uh, the devil's in the detail. We, we passed balanced budgets on the education side and on the general fund side, but on the general fund budget there's a minor disagreement with the governor's office on some of the allocation of monies. Uh, and priorities. So the legislature had one set of priorities on a very finite amount of spent expenditures on Medicaid and on some other uh, government programs that uh, were important to the legislature. The governor disagreed with that and sent forward his recommendations through executive amendment. So we're going to be dealing with that. I think the grocery tax issue is all about how you approach it. I think that there's a, a strong desire to eliminate taxes on groceries. Uh, the, the big problem is uh, you've got disagreement about how you get there. Uh, I am not for raising taxes on a group of individuals in order to pay for that. Um, I think we can do it through, as our economy begins to grow, many of us believe that's something that we could achieve through a phased-in approach as the economy grows and revenues begin to increase.